Hello, everybody. Um, and hello, Asena O'Neill. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, this may be paradigm shift in educational comedy, but this is probably going to be one of the most serious fucking videos I'm ever going to do here. Um, I just got through watching a couple of her most recent videos. Uh, one is rather long, and the other is rather short kind of like um, a during and then the aftermath sort of thing. And just in case she ever watches this, I am going to provide my message of gratitude and my explanations on that to her first at the beginning of this video. Um, then for everybody who hasn't seen the videos in question yet, um, then I'm going to enable screen share and I'm going to play those after. So anything that um, anyone might not understand about the rant I'm about to freaking go on, um, you will get clarification after my message here. Um, I've gotten like all of three hours of sleep in, in the last couple of days because of the freaking you know solar flares going off and that shit seems to affect me i feel dragged down but fuck it i just got through watching this and i have stuff to say on it so i'm probably gonna ramble all over the place and it's gonna be disorganized but who gives a fuck um she was basically a youtube celebrity and model and just got you know wrapped up in like all the the fakeness of it, the societal fakeness, and then basically had a what you might call a spiritual awakening slash nervous breakdown slash you know hit in the face with a reality check, whatever words you want to use to describe it, and created one of the most real and and raw and honest and inspirational fucking things that I have ever seen on the internet in my entire life fucking period, and. You know, she just, I really appreciate everything she said because everything she said is freaking perfect. Like, it's exactly the sort of thing that I've been needing, especially with various female friends, you know, that I have that you know, sometimes that, you know, they're, they're down on themselves and, you know, they're comparing themselves to others and thinking they're not good enough and, you know, so on and so forth and, and thinking that, oh, if, you know, if only they had, you know, whatever their view of the, the perfect body is, if only they had, you know, all these subscribers on YouTube, if only they had this, if only they had that, da 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 all this societal mental malware fucking garbage and just beating themselves up with it and you just like totally just like cut through the bullshit um there's a saying that i have that um goes like this sometimes a chick really needs to hear it from a chick and it's like no offense to the guys but you know there are certain things that just sound like complete bullshit no matter how well intended you know the male friend is trying to say it to the female friend some some things just need to be heard from another female and like ding 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 this is like like top freaking score here this is like you've just given me like some of the 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 biggest freaking ammunition of female inspiration that like i have ever fucking seen ever like period and i'm extremely grateful for this and i'm going to be showing this to like like everybody everybody period um and i'm just really grateful for everything that you said and your willingness to be real and raw and authentic um which leads me to i don't i don't want to call it one word of advice i don't really feel like give anyone advice i don't feel they have the right to give anyone advice tell anyone what to do but let's just say there's a 
perspective that I would like to share. Um, I know you were talking about, you know, um, saying that, you know, you're going to leave YouTube and that, you know, you're going to get out of the quote unquote business of that and so on and so forth. And, you know, one thing that this fucked up society, you know, because it, it makes us like go like to, to opposite swing directions because it fucks with our heads so much. I just want to remind you, social media is a fucking tool. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not anything in between. It's all in what we do with it. And you being authentically yourself, your real, raw, honest, authentic self can make you more money than, than any of this fake fucking bullshit. Fuck all those companies. Fuck holding the product a certain way and, and doing this and doing that and being all on their beck and call and shit. Like you already said, fuck those guys. But that doesn't mean that you can't use this neutral tool to make money being freaking inspirational, real, raw, authentic, inspirational. Like a farmer makes money with their farming and they love farming and they're good at farming. And that is a positive fucking benefit to society. They're farmers. They love farming. They're really good at farming. That's what they do. There's no shame and no wrong in making money doing what you love. There's there's an old saying, make your career what you love doing and you'll never work a fucking day in your life. Make it what you love doing. Don't try to appease everybody or kowtow to companies or whatever the fuck. You know, because farmers, they... They they only they only get depressed with what they do when they cater to like fucking assholes like Monsanto. Monsanto comes in. Oh, you gotta do your cows this way and your chickens this way. And you gotta use uh, GMO seed and da 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 da. Then it becomes fucking miserable. You know what I mean? But farming because you love farming and it's your passion and you love plants and you enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with making money doing what you love doing. If you love computers and you're a total fucking computer geek and you're good at computer computers or good at programming or, or good at graphics design or, or whatever, any, anything with computers, and you just fucking love that shit. You, you authentically love that shit. You're not trying to appease anybody. You're not, not trying to go for ratings or, or you know, all that stuff that you ran in about that you just love fucking computers. You fucking love what you do. There is no shame whatso fucking ever in making money doing what you love doing. As a matter of fact, what we're taught it's the common stigma is that, oh, the only way to make money is, is to do what you hate doing. Be a fucking bagger at the grocery store. Be some stuffy fucking office manager who's always, you know, depressed because their job is so high pressure and, and they worked for a greedy fucking company that doesn't appreciate them and, and blah, blah, blah. We're taught, oh, it's only a genuine, authentic job if you're suffering. But, you know, if you make money doing what you enjoy doing, well, oh, fuck you, bastard. You're, oh, you're evil and you're dishonest and you're a fraud and, and blah 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 well to, to society's fucking Nazi ass sadistic programming on that I say fuck society and fuck anybody who agrees with society on that shit you're not being fucking dishonest making money doing what you love doing and you know for fuck's sakes especially something like online digital media and shit it's like you're making money like giving people fucking videos and content for fucking free what the fuck is wrong with that absolutely fucking nothing as long as you're being authentic you know what i mean be your inspirational badass fucking self and you have already seen what you being your authentic inspirational badass fucking self has done look at how much more fulfilled you have felt doing that in that brief instance of time than you felt during you know that whole modeling career in your own words so i don't think you should quit social media social media is just a tool i think you should use social media to inspire even more people and yes make fucking money doing it but make it your fucking way you know monetize those videos um there's also like 
a social media network called SU, T-S-U dot, dot C-O. They freaking share ad revenue. You're like posting shit on your SU profile and making fucking money. There's nothing fucking wrong with that, in my opinion. You're doing what you love. You're posting the shit that you like to post. You're not trying to fucking appease anybody or kowtow to anybody or be any fucking corporation's bitch. You're just being your fucking self to the fucking fullest and making money in the fucking process. Um, you know, and like you could go to www.tsu.co forward slash um, paradigm shift docs for you. There, in the description of this video, there will be a TSU link to this video. So once I put in the full description, you'll be able to find that if you want to check it out. And the people on TSU are fucking nice, okay? Like it's not like fake book where like a lot of the people are just a, a, a bunch of, you know, fucking assholes trying to follow trends and, and, and being dicks and getting off on shit and whatever the fuck. Like I have not run into anybody on that fucking place who's a dick. So that's that's a very good a very good place in my experiences. So what is my point? My point is there are ways to make money doing what you love and there is nothing fucking wrong with that. And if you're using these digital tools with fucking integrity and doing what the fuck you love doing and you're honest and you're authentic and you're inspiring people honestly, what the fuck is the crime in that? You know what I mean? We are so fucking brainwashed to think, oh, you're only making an honest living if you're suffering, if you're someone's bitch, if you're sitting in a fucking cubicle somewhere slaving your ass off from nine to fucking five, burning your eyes out all fucking day in front of spreadsheets and, and misery and having a supervisor breathing down your neck about shit with deadlines and blah, blah. Oh, it's only authentic if you're suffering and you're miserable and you're someone's bitch. It's, it's only legit if you're a slave and you're suffering. But oh, if you're making money doing what you love doing and using those tools authentically, oh, well, shame on you. You shouldn't be doing that. That is like mental malware of the highest fucking order, okay? So I'm not trying to tell you what the fuck to do, but in my opinion, stick with social media as a tool, but do it your fucking way. Be authentic. Do what the fuck you want to do, and fuck all these bossy fucking corporations. Fuck Coca-Cola. Fuck the Australian Associated Modeling Conglomerates, whoever the fuck. Fuck all these fucking corporate fucking assholes. Fuck them. Use the tools your fucking way. Make money your fucking way, and you will make more of it doing it your way and being authentic, and I really hope you do. I hope you don't let them win. I hope you don't let them trick you into thinking that a hammer is evil just because you witness someone bashing in someone's skull with it, metaphorically speaking. I hope you don't let them win. I hope you don't let them totally trick you into thinking that you can only be successful if you're suffering and that you, how dare you use these digital tools to inspire people, to empower people, to change the world for the better and ooh, make money on top of it. Oh, how dare you? Fuck them. How about how dare them tell you that being authentic and making money fucking honestly and in a way that doesn't make you hate yourself and feel like you're dying inside is somehow wrong and that the only valid way of making money is if you're suffering and slaving and blah, 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 blah. Ah, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. So, girl, you get down with your fucking awesome self. You keep making videos. It's not an order, just a suggestion, just a perspective. You keep making videos, your awesome fucking videos. You monetize that fucking shit. Just get up there and be authentic and talk about things that matter to you. Because guess what? There's a lot of people that really are looking to see people just being authentically and honestly themselves. There are so many people that are tired of this fake ass fucking bullshit and they feel fucking trapped in it and they are looking for inspirational fucking role models. And yeah, that's you. Look at that. That's you. You're, you, you have hit that point. 
to where you've decided you're going to be real and raw and honest and authentic. That is a demographic, my friend. There are so many people in need of that right now. It's not even funny. It's a part of why I'm here doing what I'm doing. You know, people like me. I'm Dave Kelso. Hi. Nice to meet you. People like Richard Hamilton. People like Katerina Edwards. People like Kristen Meyer. People like Daphne Dugan. So on and so forth. My little little PSEC crew we got going here. But you know, what I call a PSEC crew, it's not a it's not a group to join. It's not a societal thing. It's not a status thing. It's really just kind of formed itself. It's just people that have kind of come together and come camaraderie and common ground. And I'm looking at this phenomenon and observing it happen. And it's like, well, we speak in language, I have to call it something instead of saying, well, that thingy over there that's doing stuff. So, okay, PSEC crew, fine, boom, there's a label. Labels aren't bad either as long as you are defining the label and you are saying this is what this means. Then you're doing it authentically. But if you are using a label in such a way that you're placing the label on yourself and then you're trying to fit yourself into that label that someone else has defined, that's the life-sucking fucking vampire that, you know, we've been taught to embrace and worship as our almighty fucking God. Oh, bow to the labels. And then, of course, there's all the stigmas that come with the labels, too, with the societal shit. But you know what? Fuck all that fucking bullshit. You know, we speak language. That is what humans do because we haven't mastered fucking telepathy yet. So use labels, but use them in your own way. And if, if someone wants to have a negative perspective of, of how you're deciding to use that, well, that's their right to have it. They can go fuck themselves and suck a dick. But, hey, you know, I respect their right, you know, to their perspective even if their perspective is total, incomplete, miserable shit, okay? I still respect their right. So, in my opinion, you know, I think you should still use these tools, use them your way, make money doing it, and be an inspirational badass. That's not an order. You could you could sit there watching this video right now. Hopefully one day you do watch it, but you could be sitting there thinking, wow, this Dave Kelso guy, what a fucked up American. What a fucking wacko. How dare he fucking tell me what to do? I'm not telling you what to do, but if you want to perceive it as that, you can. You know, I respect your right to do that. How dare he tell me to, to, to view tools as just inanimate objects? How dare he tell me not to not to make these tools my god or my satan that i have to embrace or shun how dare he tell me to have to to do things my own way with those tools how dare he tell tell me that i can use the hammer to build the fence and that it doesn't have to be for bashing people's freaking skulls and how dare he you can have that view of, of me if you want i'm not saying you are but if hypothetically you did i would respect your right to have that view i don't give a fuck who thinks I'm inspirational and great versus who thinks I'm completely and totally fucking nuts? Because guess what? No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you do it, no matter how you say it, there's going to be those people that think you're just totally fucking wacko and that you should just shut up and they think you're totally horrible. And then there's going to be that other group of people that's like, wow, she's just such an inspirational badass. She's just so, so awesome. Oh my God, that was just so empowering. You're going to have both and we're taught by society that oh we have to get everybody to like us or we have to like everybody and blah 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 otherwise oh we're doing something wrong and we're guilty of something and and we're not doing what's right and oh we're gonna be a failure forever and blah 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 no fuck all that shit no matter what you do there's always gonna be one group that hates the fucking shit out of you and there's gonna be another group who just loves you to pieces. And that's just the way it is because welcome to earth. That's the way it is. You can't please everybody. And there's always going to be some people who just aren't happy unless they just aren't happy. Okay. And there's nothing you can do about that. The only thing you have control over is who you decide to be. That is the one singular only thing that you have control over. So that is being the change you want to create. Live your life the way you want to live it. Be a living fucking example of the possibilities of that so that other people can observe that. And hey, they could take it or leave it. They can be inspired by it or they can think you're totally fucking nuts. So yeah, I'm like ranting about this shit. I've done rants on this sort of stuff before. Although this is like the most inspired I fucking felt in a while. So thank you for that. But you know, 
I'm sure some people are going to look at this and, 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 you know, just be like, oh, Dave, what are you on about? You're being fucking crazy and ridiculous, stupid again. You know, the people that are still drinking the societal Kool-Aid and, you know, there's going to be, I'm sure there's going to be some people, you are probably going to encounter some people who just think, oh my God, she's being just whiny and and she's ungrateful for what she has and blah 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 yeah thankfully so far you've mostly you know experienced the good people who are grateful but at some point you're probably going to experience some haters too who have that perspective and when you experience them respect their right to be haters and fuck them you know respect their respect their right but they can go suck a dick you know they're inconsequential to you because there's always going to be haters always going to people who be people who love you so i hope that you do not do the typical societal self-sabotage thing that we're all trained to do because we're all living in a state of fucking Stockholm syndrome. We've grown we've grown up from little kids in these systems of indoctrination to think like fucking Nazis living in a psychopathic, corporate-controlled fucking world. Hopefully you can stop for a second, take a breath, and go, you know what? I'm not gonna let that control me. All this digital media shit, this is just tools. I get to decide how I use the fucking tools and I can make money being my authentic self and inspiring people and I can make money on you know tsu.co I can make money on YouTube however the fuck else on patreon that's another one you could create a, a patreon account and um, you know people can like you know subscribe to you there it's a monetary subscription thing um, it's really cool I'd suggest you check it out but yeah, you know, you could do all this other shit. There's so much fucking cool shit out there that you might not even know about because to your own admission, you spent so much time being so self-absorbed that you weren't having like the broad view of it. But now you have the opportunity to have this broad view. There is so much cool fucking shit out there. I promise you there is so much cool fucking shit that you can use the way you want to use it and to empower yourself and to empower others and really live in that authentic way that doesn't feel like you're living a lie and that is all out there but believing is seeing not the other way around and facts are completely irrelevant why are facts irrelevant because humans they make actions based on their belief systems not facts and even if a belief system is bullshit all actions have consequence so for every action there is a consequence even if it's based on a bullshit belief system so if you're going to judge these tools then yeah that's the sort of self-sabotage that society wants you to do to yourself that's that's the way we've been you know freaking brainwashed to to, to put these tools on a pedestal so that we're either deifying them or demonizing them. So I really hope you don't go from one side of the coin that you've been in clear to the other side of the coin. Because so many people do that. They go to the other side of the coin and they think they've walked away from the coin completely. But really, they're just on the same hamster wheel. They are just caught now in... <laughs> Total opposite polarity. It's like being thrown back and forth, one to the other, boom, boom, boom. These extreme bipolar left-right shifts because people are taught to view reality as it, within light switch thinking. It's either good or it's bad. It's either on or it's off. It's either up or it's down. And to have these two opposites oppose each other and still, until one dominates the other. That's as neurotic as thinking that one side of your body has to do battle with the other side until there's only one side of your body left. It's fucking neurotic as shit. But that is the way we are trained to, <laughs> to think and to conduct ourselves in life. Reality is really more like a cake. You have multiple simultaneous ingredients in the cake. And when you change the configuration even slightly of one little bitty ingredient, you have a whole different cake. I mean, there's not much difference between cake and bread, right? But that little tiny difference in ingredients like makes a big profound difference on how that recipe ends up, you know, expressing itself in, in you know the final production there. So, you know. Do what you want. I don't even know if you're ever going to see this video because I know that you're going to be busy for quite a while. You've got a lot on your plate and a lot to think about. And and if you decide to ignore social media altogether, then who knows? You might never see this. I don't know. Um, but I hope one day you do. And if you ever do, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to have you rant up a fucking shitstorm for an hour on here if you'd like. We we love real and raw and authentic 
fucking expression. That's, you know, that's that's what we do here on this channel. Because on this channel, you know, fuck what everybody else wants us to do or whatever. We're just going to be authentic. And some people are going to like that and some people not. And hey, the ones who don't, well, they can go suck a dick. But I still respect their right to their opinions. So there we go. So thank you. I greatly appreciate everything that you said. And it's about damn time that somebody within the social media modeling stuff has kind of <laughs> fallen from grace, so to speak, and then had the, the courage to speak out about all of this and talk a lot of really good sense into people's heads that really desperately need it. So I am going to be sharing the shit out of your message. So with that said, I'm going to get on to the point that is, you know, your message. So I am going to enable screen share mode here. One moment. And there's the infinite hallway of the, the Google quantum realm there. Okay. Here we go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be two videos. Um, one of them's here. Um, why I really am quitting social media. The truth. And then there is the other one here. Overwhelmed and beyond words. Grateful. So I'm, I'm wanting to let everybody hear this. Um, it's obviously not going to be as good of, of audio quality, you know, coming out my speakers and then back into, you know, my mic again and so on. So if you want the full, clear, you know, version of this, then there's Asena O'Neill. You know, you've got that on, I find that on YouTube. And then there is her website. Let's be game changers.com. So that's her blog, and you know, that's where she's got her newest thing. So there's a Sen O'Neill. Let's be game changers. So um, you know, you could you could hit that up for the you know, for the full audio quality, full video quality, full everything. And to that end, I'm going to shut the fuck up and let Asena speak. There's so much I want to say, and there's so many topics that I want to cover. I have an insight into a world of social media that I believe not many people are aware of in terms of how it works in advertisements, how I know a lot of other social media personalities and just how fake it all is. And I say fake because I don't think anyone has bad intentions. I just think they're caught up in it like I was. I have a whole career built around social media. What I'm doing scares the absolute fuck out of me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I have no idea how I'm going to make money. And yeah, last night I got really, really scared because I was like, holy shit, I have all these messages, but how are people gonna hear them? But then I reminded myself very clearly why I'm doing this. Taking myself off social media is a wake up call to anyone and everyone who follows me. I had the dream life. I had half a million people interested in me on social media, on Instagram, sorry. I had over 100,000 views on most of my videos on YouTube. To a lot of people, I made it. I was signed with, I still am technically signed with, and I don't want to model at all anymore, but I was signed with one of the biggest agencies in Australia. I had one of the biggest agencies in America want to sign me for modeling and for my YouTube. I had messages and messages of big companies, brands, sponsorships on my hands. And I was in LA and I was at a pinnacle of success in what I thought it was. I was dating a guy that was way more famous, famous than me, way more successful, had an amazing car, beautiful beyond words, and he was fucking depressed. 
And I was like, what, you, you have everything. I was surrounded by all this wealth and all this fame and all this power. And yet they were all miserable. And I had never been more miserable. I'm the girl that had it all. And I want to tell you that having it all on social media means absolutely nothing to your real life. And it, it might for a second, yeah, like I was I was making changes in a, in a small amount to do with veganism, to do with um, uh, whatever, positive thinking. But at the same time, everything I was doing was edited and contrived and to get more value and to get more views, to get more, oh, I had all this in me that I just wanted more people to hear me. So everything I did was for views, for likes, for followers. I did shoots for like hours just to get photos for Instagram. I would meet up with people and talk and connect whatever, but just make photos for Instagram. Like, yes, I could connect with them, but the basis of what we were doing wasn't just love and in nature and getting out there and, and talking about life. It was social media, which is now a business. If you don't think it's a business, you're deluding yourself. If, unless you follow like very, very clean counts. When you're following someone and they have a lot of followers and they're promoting products, they are paid. Companies will email you with dot points of what you should say, with times of the day to post with what you should do in the photo, with how you should hold the product, or where you should have it in the background. Companies know the power of social media and they are exploiting it. But this is, this is it's far bigger than any company or anything else. I quit social media for my 12 year old self. When I was 12, I told myself I meant nothing, that I was worthy of nothing because I wasn't popular online, I wasn't a model, I wasn't beautiful by society standards. At 12, I obsessively stalked everyone that was that online. I looked at other girls who were models, who were beautiful, who were famous on YouTube. Um, they had all of this likes and all of these views and followers and I thought, damn, they would be so happy surrounded by all these people that love them and appreciate them. I want that. I want to be valued. I remember looking at the catalog for uh, Billabong or Roxy, whatever the surf brand, that was what it was like really cool back then. That was like the ideal thing. I remember looking at pictures uh, of these models and then looking at my thighs and stomach in the mirror and thinking, do I look like that? How can I look that? I remember Googling models like centimeters of their waist and their thighs and then measuring my own to compare. At 12, I told myself, I would be of value the more views I got on YouTube. Or I looked at girls that had heaps of views and I thought, damn, I want that. I told myself that when I have heaps of views, people will view me. I will feel valued. I will feel happiness. I let myself be de defined by numbers. And the only thing that made me feel better about myself I don't think I was, I, I don't want to say I was depressed or had anxiety, but I definitely had all the symptoms that if you Google depression and anxiety, I had all of that times a billion. The only time I felt better about myself really was the more followers, the more likes, the more praise, and the more views I got online. It was never enough. You'd think getting 100,000 followers on Instagram would be amazing. Yeah, it was for the day but then you want 200,000. You'd think having 500,000 followers on Instagram is like the dream, right? That's what I, if someone told me at, at 16 or 12, at 12, I said, now you're gonna have 500,000 followers on Instagram. You're gonna have a YouTube account that has 100,000 views plus. You're gonna um, have a big modeling contract. You're gonna have all of that. I would have been like, no, no, what? I would have gone crazy. And I'm quitting social media to tell anyone, everyone who's still watching, I was miserable. I had it all and I was miserable because when you let yourself be defined by numbers, you let yourself be defined by something that is not pure, that is not real, and that is not love. Likes, views, followers. We are not followers. You are not a follower. I'm not a follower. I spent 12 to 16 wishing I was this perfect person online. Then I spent 16 to 18 proving my life on social media, perfecting myself enough to be that person. Everything I did in a day was to be that perfect person online. 
There were shoots, style pictures of what I was eating. I don't know, carefully edited videos on, on YouTube. I did everything in my power to prove to the world that, hey, I'm important, I'm beautiful, and I'm cool. But is making your whole day proving to everyone else that you're amazing, is that what, is that life? Proving yourself online? taking pictures just in hopes to get likes and compliments, getting excited over how many likes you got or how many people follow you. It's not life. And it's not what's making you happy. You want to be valued and loved, but you also want to be free. You know how good it is just to have a day and not think about anyone else, what anyone else is doing, but be with real people? I quit social media because of my 12 year old self. And I want everyone to know that at 12, I was miserable because of the numbers I saw on a screen. And at 18, right now, tomorrow's my birthday, I'm 19 tomorrow. Uh, at 18, birthday. I was miserable as well, even when I had it all. I've met people that are far more successful online than I am, and they're just as miserable and lonely and scared and lost. We all are. There's nothing different between you and I other than, we're, <laughs> other than I made it and now I'm at this point where criticism, comparison, praise, hate, I have all these opinions on myself and I don't even know who I am, I don't know what I stand for, but this is something I feel like for once in my life, I feel like it's real. I let numbers define me at 12 and that stopped me becoming the person that I, sh I am and that I should be. At I loved writing. I loved art. I loved anything creative. I loved anything beautiful and real about the world. There are so many things I could have done with my time that I could have just enjoyed. I'm getting really emotional because I feel like at 12, I thought I was nothing. And then here at nearly 19 with all of these followers, I don't even know what is real and what is not because I've let myself be defined by something that is so not real. Being with people in your real life, hugging people, talking to people, going out into the park, into nature, that is fucking real life. And I didn't do it for the majority of my life because I was just living in a screen, wishing that people would value me, that people would hear me, that people would just know me. And that's all that I thought I should do, and it's not real. People in your real life matter. You think you're alone, go outside, go to a park, go to a beach, go somewhere. There are people around you. Go to a cafe. There is people around us. You don't have to go on social media to connect. You don't have to prove your life on Instagram for it to be a good life. You don't have to prove your body for you to feel beautiful. You don't have to be a fucking model to know that you are beautiful. You don't have to do any of that because let me tell you, it's not real. There are so many people talking about this. I am not alone. Cara Delevingne made a video, uh, did a talk or whatever, I'll link it below, saying how she had everything and still had fucking depression. She let numbers define her. She let people, this idea of happiness define her. And she had everything and she still felt so lost. This movement is something so much bigger, more bigger than myself. What I'm doing here is a statement that real life isn't through screens. That yes, you can get social, I'm not against social sharing. I'm against the current status of social media. And I have everything to lose by doing this. But majority of people watching this that don't have a career on social media, you have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. There are people around you. Go do things that you love to do in the real world. Volunteer. Uh, help out somewhere. Go to an animal shelter. Go, go to a cafe and just sit and meet people. Go on a bus. There are people around you. You can go outside and meet people and feel connected. You don't need to be you don't need to prove your value on social media to have it, to feel valued. You don't need to do it. I did it. I spent three fucking years doing it every day. And I've realized I don't never really, I, I threw away real connections or it's so easy just to distract yourself with social media. At 12, because I felt lonely and different, instead of, you know, pursuing art and writing, I, it was easier to follow people that looked like they were happy 
it was easy to follow people online that had heaps of views that were beautiful by society standards. I looked at them and studied them and envied them and wished I was them. It's easier to want and sit and view online. It's a lot harder to sit alone with yourself and get real with your life. No one does that anymore. When the last two weeks of LA, I turned off my phone for a week and this is when this all happened because I realized I didn't know myself without social media and without my physical appearance. And I thought that I could talk about these messages online, but then I realized that being on social media for me meant that I was somehow showing people that likes and views equal worth, that you don't have to do anything but explore what excites you. You don't need a big, beautiful, you don't need big, fancy things I'll take it from me, I did it all in LA. I saw it all. I had a glimpses of the life I thought I wanted. And all I could think about was money and numbers and how good I was looking, how toned I was looking. I was obsessed with how I looked like. And my skin was as worse, it just reacted because I didn't feel good. We all want to feel valued. Don't let them trick you. This video was really rough and short. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get it off my chest that this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's a movement that is far greater than I. And if you want to support me, there is a support page where I, I can't afford rent right now. Um, and even just... <laughs> So I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that I need help, that if you like my videos or like any of my posts or you like this website, if this is of value to you, then yeah, please support me because I can't afford my own real life. I spent the last you know, week just trying to do this website and I can't even, it's like I'm embarrassed to say that, hey, uh, you know, I'd rather you support what I'm doing by you paying what you think it's worth to you. It's like that's embarrassing or wrong, but promoting endless products, getting cheap views on YouTube or being a model, that's like, you know, using my looks for money, that, that's okay. But actually just making a new thing where I'm like, I really suffered from social media and I want to talk to anyone else that's currently swept up into it. Um, and yeah, like if you think that's cool, support me. It's like I'm embarrassed to say that. It's like I'm ashamed. That, that I no longer, I don't know. But yesterday I was really scared about what I was doing. I'm not, I'm not like confident and I'm not, I'm, I'm scared. I was like, shit, like how are people gonna know about this? Like I'm taking myself off the grid. But then I had to remind myself that I'm doing this because it's a wake up call. And two, I'm not doing this for myself at 18. I'm doing, I am, but I'm doing this for myself at 12 mostly because that girl deserves someone to, to say this. She did. And um, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> if you can do one thing for me, it would be to turn off your phone, just turn it off. Don't even use the forum. I know the forum's amazing on my site, but don't even use it. Turn off your phone, go somewhere, do something you love and then talk to the people that are also doing that as well. You don't need to find your interests online. You don't need to just rely on social media to meet people. Go volunteer, go to an animal shelter, go do something. Go out to a cafe, to a beach, to a park. Go, go, just go walk your dog or do something and meet someone else that's doing the same. Go up and talk to someone. And just be like, oh, I love your dog. Or like, oh, isn't the surf great today? I don't know, but just talk. Oh, it's scary and weird to just talk to a stranger. But how fucked up is that, really? We feel so alone and we're just surrounded by everyone on their phones, equally feeling as alone. Just go up and tell them and talk to them. I, mean, I want to create T-shirts for this movement. I want someone to wear something that's like funny and like about this movement. And then hopefully if they wear them, then they can talk to someone. Like imagine a teacher that says, I like people, please come and talk, please talk to me. Like, <laughs> I want to wear that stuff because <laughs> really 
all we need is to feel valued and feel loved by the people around us and to be doing something that makes us feel alive, whether that's creating something, it's art, it's beautiful, making a change, making a difference. Everything else, social approval and all this excess money, yeah, there's so much I want to say. And there's so many topics I want to cover. There's so much that I know that you don't know, that no one talks about. Um, yeah. And now I'll play the most recent one, which is one minute and 58 seconds. It's not the big long one that you just watched, obviously. I don't ever think I've been happier than this moment. I never, I mean, it was two days ago when I released this site. I was really scared. I was scared that, you know, no one wants to hear the truth, that everyone's going to think I'm an attention seeker, that I'm just complaining, that, but this message that, likes, followers, views, that we're more than a number, it's going global. I have, I have so many, this morning, well, um, this morning I have so many emails from people like, 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 good morning America, like the project, I love the project, I watch that every, most days, like there's all these massive media outlets that want to do interviews, that want to talk about the reality behind social media, and I just can't, I just feel so grateful for that, this is being spread, that this is actually out there, that young people can find out the reality behind the perfect Instagram life, and how nothing is perfect about spending every single day making your life look perfect online, that is not real, it is not inspirational, and there is so much more we could be doing than just editing ourselves and proving ourselves to others, life is so much more, and I'm just so thankful, thank you everyone for sharing it, and talking about it, this isn't about me, this is about everyone, this is about a global change, and I, for once in my life, I just feel so happy that this is finally something real and people are talking about it eating disorders mental health disorders there's so much that goes into the pressure to fit in to be liked to be known and it's so not real real people matter real genuine cha change focus on that focus on your individuality that's all that matters that's all that matters i love you all and i keep spreading this Thank you. I'm so grateful. <clears throat> that is just one of those things that just, to me, it's hardcore solid proof evidence that humanity is actually starting to wake up. And I think that one of the the biggest how can i say this i guess one of the biggest problems as far as you know people looking around and going well where's all this awakening that hopefully is there i i don't see it i think one of the biggest problems is that there's so many people that are waking up that do not have the courage to speak for exactly all the reasons you know that she just expressed oh you know what if people think i'm stupid what if people think i'm just whining what if people think i'm crazy whatever well some will so what fuck them who cares they're they're not they're not ready to take the red pill yet and you know that's that's their fucking problem there are so many people who have taken the red pill but you know they're looking around like where is everybody else it's also taking the red pill you know what i mean and you know there's so many people that are isolated in like 
small little towns and shit, and like maybe they're like the only one in in their little dinky town that's that has woken up that they know of or whatever. And so they they need social media to reach out to the rest of the planet because, you know, directly around them, maybe there there really is nobody yet, and maybe they need to reach out to others so that they can gain more confidence and inspiration learn how to be that change and once they learn how to have that confidence through things like this online then they can you know dive into the fire so to speak and be that example of that change for their little town and start you know hopefully shifting you know the people around them and their little in their little podunk town you know it's like it's it's one person at a time but those of us who are waking up and smelling the coffee to all the fucking corruption in this world and instead of sitting there pissing and moaning about it and expecting some politician to fix it for us you know someone in washington someone in the australian parliament someone in the eu someone where the fuck ever instead of you know expecting our selected miss leaders that we worship as fucking godlike babysitters and and petitioning them and going oh you need to create the change for us otherwise man 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 we're going to get all mad and da 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 you know it's nice that that instead of people doing that there's still a lot of people doing that but there's more and more that aren't doing that that have realized hey we've got to be the change there's no one's going to fucking do it for us um, you know, if Jesus is going to come back, it's to congratulate us on what we fucking did ourselves. There's not going to be any U any ETs that are going to fucking land and, and bail us out and, and, and save us from ourselves. If, if anything, they'll, they'll, they'll land once, um, they see we fixed our own problems and they're like, okay, these guys aren't going to be so neurotic and, and like shoot us and dissect us and shit, you know? So it's like, no one's going to save you. Not not jesus not not mohammed not not fucking extraterrestrials or multi-dimensional beings of light from the fifth dimension where oh i can just meditate and da -da 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 -da, whatever the fuck. no we have to be the fucking change and we have to have the courage to to speak up and if you feel that nobody else around you if you're one of those people that feels nobody else around you has woken up yet no what do i do Get on social media and make this sort of video and say, hey, other awakened people, I'm here. Anybody else out there? Because how's anybody else going to know that you're there if you don't speak up? You know, nobody's going to know. We're not mind readers. You're not a mind reader. You got to speak up and say, hey, I'm here. And of course, when you say, hey, I'm here, yeah, there's going to be some people that are going to come along and look at that and go, wow, you're kind of fucking crazy. You're stupid and say all kinds of nasty things and whatever. But, you know, fuck them. They're just immature idiots. Disregard the same way you would disregard a three-year-old crying in the corner. I mean, you're not going to get all hurt and angry that a three-year-old's acting like a three-year-old, right? Oh, of course not. Just because somebody might be in a bigger body does not necessarily mean that they aren't emotionally and mentally a fucking perpetual three-year-old. Adulthood has become a state of extended adolescence, let's face it. So don't let all that shit get you down. Just fucking, you know, get on fucking YouTube, make a video like this girl just made, and you don't have to be a, a a model that's taken this this fucking tumble you know you could you could be just someone that's like hey this is how i feel about the world is there anybody else who maybe has made the same observations anybody who's feeling the same way maybe people who have figured out how to cope with this so on and so forth if you don't put yourself out there and speak up and be counted how's anybody supposed to know that you're there and yes, I know it can be it can be awkward and and whatever else and you know there's all these feelings of shame and all that stuff that you know she had, had mentioned previously, and there's no shame in in asking for help or anything like that when you need help. There's no fucking shame in that. Um, in this corrupt world, we all need help in in some way, shape, or form. We're all fucking screwed in some way, shape, or form. Some more of us than others, but humans are creatures that have to work together nobody can do absolutely everything completely alone it's not fucking possible if you're human it's not possible so yeah um asena i hope i'm saying your name right 
I am going to reach out and offer whatever assistance I can offer. I mean, if you want to talk, if you're not too busy, I mean, I can, you know, share the things that I know of that that might be helpful and, you know, you can decide whether these things are going to be helpful to you or not. You know, that's up to you to make those decisions, not here to tell you what to do. But yes, I will I I extend that hand. I will I will reach out and hopefully reach back. But if you don't, I'm not going to take it personally. Um, Maybe you'll watch this and be too scared to reach back and go, oh my god, this is too paralyzing. Eh. Or maybe you'll just be so overwhelmed with all sorts of people reaching out that you just won't have time to ever watch this. Um, at any rate, at the very least, this is out here to put out this message that, like you said, is more important than you, more important than me, more important than anybody. Just this, this overall message getting out there is very important and it's the message of being you to the fullest the message of full authenticity it's it's really important and i've been doing my best to put out this message on youtube for five fucking years from 2011 to 2015 almost going into 2016 and it is awesome and inspiring that people like you are, are out there speaking up and it feels really wonderful that I ran across your video and I watched it well videos technically just too but you know and I watched it and I'm like holy fucking shit human awakening Batman so like yes faith in humanity restored so thank you for that thank you to everybody for watching this and yeah here's to some hope for humanity holly fucking luya let's work together let's kick ass and chew bubble gum and guess what i'm all out of gum catch you next time thank you for watching paradigm shift and educational comedy even though this episode was serious as shit and damn right be you to the fullest, be authentic, fuck the haters, and have an awesome day.